It was the biggest international defense scam under the UPA government, a scandal that forced the government to scrap a deal for 12 brand new VVIP choppers purchased for its top leaders. A scandal that sullied the reputation of Mr. Squeaky Clean Defense Minister A.K. Antony and ruined the rep reputation of uh, a former chief of air staff. This was a scandal that rocked the Manmohan Singh government to its very core. For the first time since the scandal broke, India Today reports on the real story. The shattering question, was there really a scam at all? The helicopter at the heart of the UPA government's biggest international scandal, the Augusta Westland VVIP chopper scam. A scam that battered India's international reputation and put the biggest questions since Bofors on the table. From the Prime Minister to his Defence Minister, even the UPA chairperson, but no one more than former Indian Air Force Chief Shashindra Pal Tyagi. His reputation was smashed to pieces in this big defence kickbacks controversy. But just 18 months after India took the unprecedented decision to scrap one of its largest helicopter deals, stunning new information has surfaced, suggesting that there may have been no scam at all. India today has exclusive access to the 145-page final judgement of the Italian court from which the entire scam story began in the first place. An October 2014 judgment that hasn't seen the light of day till now. And perhaps for understandable reasons. It categorically states that there were no kickbacks and firmly acquits the chief accused, former Indian Air Force Chief S.P. Tyagi. The judgment makes it clear that the prosecution failed in convincing the court about the existence of a corruptive agreement of any form between the accused and Air Chief Marshal Tyagi. The judgment also says that there was simply no way that either the accused or the Air Chief at that time, Air Chief Marshal Tyagi, could have influenced the deal because most of the decisions were already decided upon. And finally, the judgment also says that mere notings on a piece of paper do not and cannot constitute evidence of corruption. These damning excerpts make it more than clear that the Italian prosecutors who broke the news about the scam have failed to establish corruption in court. The question then is, does the Indian government's own case, currently being pursued by the CBI, stand fully demolished? Did the then Defence Minister jump the gun or is there more to it than meets the eye? Most importantly, however, where did these developments leave the Indian Air Force and its former chief? Questioned at least six times by the CBI so far, his family and reputation bore the biggest brunt. But now? I can paint myself as uh, you know, the victim of target. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe a victim of circumstances. You know, because the fact is there is some Italian chore who said he got some job done from me, so it's, it's, it's not as if, you know, it is it's pulled out from uh, empty air or whatever. Veterans of the Indian Air Force believe the government's perceived overreaction has completely damaged India's reputation. Some Italian prosecutors whisper into each other's ears and our Mr. Clean, Mr. Antony goes and cancels the deal without even blinking an eyelid. Now that is a shame. An unprecedented situation faces the Modi government. The UPA had cracked down on a perceived scam under massive political pressure from the BJP. So can it now go back? Repeated requests to the Defence Ministry for an official comment were declined. Sir, you VVIP? Are you talking about VVIP? Yes, sir. Do not like to speak to the public? I think what the uh, Italian court has said is perhaps something that the government at that time had already been saying that uh, all uh, systems were followed and nothing wrong has really happened. Meanwhile, the CBI's own case has meandered without result for nearly 30 months, yielding virtually nothing. Letter rogatories to Mauritius, Tunisia, Italy, Singapore, the United Kingdom and Switzerland for details crucial to the probe have received zilch replies. Interestingly, CBI, which began its probe on the basis of Italian court case, has decided to continue its probe despite the Italian court saying corruption and kickbacks have not been established. As always, it's the Air Force that has suffered the worst. With its brand new helicopter deal scrapped, it has had to make do with existing stock. 
As the edifice of a so-called scam crumbles, questions are emanating. Did the government of the day simply wilt under pressure? Did the government of the day, in a bid to maintain an image, compromise national interest? With camera person Vishal Bahel in New Delhi, Jugal Purohit reporting for India Today.